Hi everybody, today is April 9th, 2013. Iran's been rocking and rolling today. This comes from setyoufreenews.com. Powerful quake strikes near Iranian nuclear city. 33 people were killed by a powerful earthquake in southern Iran on Tuesday, close to the country's only nuclear power station, state television reported. The magnitude 6.3 quake struck 89 kilometers or 55 miles southeast of the port city of Bushner at 11.52 GMT time at a depth of 10 kilometers, the U.S. Geological Survey reported. Now, the USGS website is showing 10 earthquakes for Iran. Of course, they only show 4 point something, 4.5 or larger when they're outside of the United States. There's the 6.3 and then they had 5.4, two 4.7s, 4 4.8, another 4.8, and a 4.7, and a 4.4. And most of them were about 10 kilometers, and this one here was a 9.5. It was felt strongly on the other side of the Gulf. The Russian company that built the nuclear power station, 18 kilometers or 11 miles south of Bushner, said the quake had been felt there, but the operations at the plant were not affected. Right. I certainly hope not, but if it was, we wouldn't find out until much later. The earthquake in no way affected the normal situation at the reactor. Personnel continue to work in the normal regime, and radiation levels are fully within the norm. Russian state news agency RIA quoted an official at a Thomas Story export as saying, One Bushner resident said her home and the homes of her neighbors were shaken by the quake, but not damaged. We could clearly feel the earthquake. Niku, who requested to be identified only by her first name, told Reuters by telephone. The windows and chandeliers all shook. State TV did not give any details on the three casualties. Thousands of people live in two villages near the nuclear plant. Officials in the capital of Qatar and Bahram were evacuated after the quake, which was followed by several aftershocks, according to Reuters witnesses and messages on Twitter. The shock was also felt in the financial hub of Dubai. The quake was much smaller than the 9.0 magnitude one that hit Japan two years ago, triggering a tsunami that destroyed backup generators and disabled the Fukushima nuclear plant's cooling system. Three of the reactors melted down. Gulf Arab countries and Western experts have voiced concern about the Bushehr plant built in a highly seismic area. Iran has repeatedly rejected concerns it could be unsafe. Iran is the only country operating a nuclear power plant that does not belong to the Convention on Nuclear Safety, negotiated after the 1986 nuclear disaster in Chernobyl, which contaminated wide areas and forced about 160,000 Ukrainians from their homes. Western officials in the United Nations have urged Iran to join the safety forum, more likely because they can't ever make it safe. Evacuating two large cities, that's, um, something's going on there. All right, bookmark my site, I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.